Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gamer Donny channel here on YouTube. I'm Gamer Donny and we're going to play some American Truck Simulator. Today we got a load of tires and they are going to Farmington. Got 40,000 pounds. 178 miles. About four hours to get there. We're in uh, DDC 379 Peterbilt. That's a... Uh, the hell's it got in it? 3406 Caterpillar straight pipe comes with the truck. Um, and then we got 18 speed transmission. We're pulling John Rudis. This is his reefer trailer here. Game Donnie on the back of it. I just updated games, so I don't have all my logos and skins and everything put back in yet. But I would uh, give 1.47 a try. So let's fire this thing up and we'll get going down the road and uh, see what happens, I guess. This uh, engine comes with the truck and it's the, it's a quiet engine, it ain't a real loud one, but it's still, it still sounds good. Let's get out of here and uh, see what happens, I guess. Hopefully we don't get in a wreck and crash or something. I don't know, anything fucking possible. Especially me driving. I thought they did optimize the game a little bit, and I can tell it's running pretty damn good. Not as bad as it was. I did turn the graphics up, too, so. We're using uh, Project Next Stage graphics mods. He smoked your ass. He's gone. Put the mountains in the background. That's pretty cool. What we got here? 30 mile an hour speed limit. We're in, uh, where the fuck are we at? I think this load actually takes us down to the million dollar highway. Not pretty sure on that one. I didn't do too much customization to the truck. I just kind of threw it together real fast. I don't have like a lot of lights or anything like that. Same way with the trailer. I'm just about tired of messing with it. I almost gave up on it. Start a new profile. Try to use one of the jump start mods. You know that gives you mega XP and money. Yeah. Apparently, once you use that mod, you have to keep the mod turned on. So therefore, every time you make a load or make a dollar, you're making like ten billion dollars. So because if you turn it off, then the game crashes. Let's go through and make a whole new profile. Without that. And, um, yeah, here we are. I will say that this tra trailer costs just as much. It might be more than what this price of this truck cost. There's a uh, 
road bumps. See the truck kind of bouncing around a little bit. Pretty cool. Something different. I do have my uh, suspension on the seat. Um, so that's where it makes it like a little softer. You're not going to feel every bump. So the truck's going to move and the seat's going to move too. You know, more smooth ride. This profile is set up the same way my other one is, except for this one, I don't have the um, reform the map mods or uh, the uh, pro mods. That's what I was looking for. Because they haven't updated it yet. I don't know how long it usually takes to for them to update, but I got tired of waiting. Thought the hell with it, just make a new profile. So. When they update it, then I'll add it into the game. Boy, that's gonna work. So it sounds like the window is down. Turbo sucking that air in. This is a million dollar highway here that we're on driving down. Some steep grades, sharp curves. Sounds like that old twin turbo on it. Right, uh, I think it's P25. Yeah, it is 25. I think about halfway down through here, and then it'll go back up. see if they're going to add the uh, Mount Rushmore and I don't know if that's in the Dakotas or I don't remember exactly where it is but it's somewhere up through there I think it's pretty loud out there wasn't it Then they added that new uh, cruise control feature in, you know, where if you get too close to a car in front of you, it'll slow down. 
Then it had the emergency stop too. I don't know exactly what that does, but I think it's like if you're coming up too close to a car in front of you, you're coming up fast and automatically apply the brakes. Let me try to doubt you. I don't have it turned on either. truck was it that has a swan on the hood for the hood ornament but the wings of the swan light up you can change that different colors the uh peterbilt 389 i'm not too sure which one it is so that might be the Roland peterbilt 379 or 389 i don't have that truck so either that one or the viper 2 I'd like to put it over on this truck. I ain't got a clue. I don't even know where to start. skills are limited. I can skin. That's about all I know how to do. It took me over an hour just to figure out what, how to change the color of the dash lights or the backlighting. too good with video tutorials and my mind just kind of turns to mush I'm more of a you know hands-on type person get in there and try doing it and we all learn it I watch this video three different times on how to do something and still not figure out how to do it, it just doesn't stick Oh, sticky icky. Kind of curious what kind of trucks are going to be in that new uh, Truck World game. I've been calling it something else, I don't know, and it's totally wrong, but I think I was calling it worlds of trucks or something that's something totally different yeah that truck world I have a feeling it's probably going to be a pretty shitty truck sharper now. Alright, we're basically done with the bad part. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Notice that white stitching on the steering wheel there. It even got the ties on it too. Cool detail there. Mm -hmm. 
Down the hill we go. steep of a grade. Weird sound. It's in the engine recording. Never had to use a runaway truck ramp, and I hope I don't ever have to. I hope I can make that turn up there. I don't have to be in that little lane. Not sure though. My luck, I'm gonna have to be in another lane. That's what I thought. Fourteen a gallon. Damn. 
But they got a loan at the bank to get fuel. One sixty and fifty five or five fifty. Yeah. The final load that goes down the interstate. I don't even really check out the fucking uneven pavement or roads or whatever you want to call it. change the ambient sounds too but I don't know I've been over here truck's too damn loud the profile had it set up and everything only thing was missing well nothing missing really but um one second we have to take out that jump start fucking mod that was you can't use the profile unless you have that mod installed so and it's where it gives you like every load you like two two hundred thousand dollars and like ten thousand XP. I just wanted to get started. I had to make another one. I did it the old fashioned way. Use cheat engine. Stop for a yield sign. I'm getting smarter. I 
Armington, 36 miles. That's where we're heading. Even Colorado. Hello, New Mexico. Makes you wonder how they just figured out which state is which. Huh? You get this much room, you get that much room. I want more room. PM we can turn some lights on. That is not the button. There it is. Yeah, I don't have a whole bunch of lights or anything on this truck, it's just basically New modifications here and there. And yeah. Spent an hour and a half and fucking getting the truck all fixed up and everything to only find out I didn't have enough money to buy it. Pissed off. I just kind of said, well, fuck it. I just want to play the damn game. I'm not going to worry about anything else. Here we are. That's that beautiful little way in there. It's a green light. lane I gotta be in. Close one, just gonna skip it. 178 miles, six hours, but seven minutes, 49.7 gallons of fuel, $10,024, and 288 XP. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to, don't forget to like.
subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.